Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we've got a PCGS unboxing. I think it's coins I submitted in May, but I don't know for sure. I've got a few submissions out there, so let's crack it and see what we got. All right. So, if you've followed the channel or been following the channel, you know, I recently opened a 1952 proof set, and I sent the coins out for grading. I don't think these are those, but let's see what we got here. I didn't check online when they told me I had grading results in. I always like to be surprised and share it with y'all. So... Let us see here without revealing any personal info. Sounds like there's a couple in there or a few. So I did get some of the coins back already from this set. Uh, only two of the five. I think these, however, are coins that I submitted um, in May with my grading vouchers. Um, as a PCGS member, you get a certain number of grading vouchers included with your membership, and they expire after a while, so like when the end of your membership comes up. So, and every year I say the same thing, I'm not going to wait, I'm not going to wait, and of course I waited. So, let's see what these are, and before I go into that story, make sure I got to get the paperwork out of here too. Hang on a second. So we do have four coins in there, and that is what I submitted for my for my vouchers or with my vouchers. And don't know what kind of order that looks like a kind of a larger coin. So don't want to give away too many details yet. So I submitted four coins that were most likely not going to get a legitimate grade, and this one might be the most exciting one here, so uh, let's start. <laughs> May as well start with that, since it's right here. So, um, oh, okay. So this is the Arrows and Rays half dollar, 1853. And if this one actually gets a legitimate grade, it's it's gonna make my day. Um, I kind of think it's been cleaned and I submitted it just for the heck of it because I was up against the calendar or the clock with my PCGS submissions. And so I'm expecting with all that black gunk and that the fact that some of it looks like it's been scraped away i'm thinking this is gonna get a details grade but let's see what we got here genuine repaired even okay so looks like that part has been scraped away i don't recall seeing that scrape when i submitted it but um i didn't expect much with this it's still you know got a got a value to it. I don't know what kind of repair has been done, but I will take a closer closer look at it. So, I don't know if it's been in jewelry or what, but I bought it at the local coin shop and I knew it was garbage. <laughs> but I didn't have an arrows and rays and now I've got one that's genuine. So, the next one up Oh, this is another one that's going to be a bust. This is a Hawaiian coin. I love Charles Barber designed coins. This one for sure, I know, has been cleaned as well. I bought this at that same coin shop. And actually, I, this one I bought once. I returned it to the store after I looked at it closer and realized it had been cleaned. And then somehow I ended up with it in a larger deal. I bought <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of silver from the coin shop and I had to take this. So, but on the night that I was doing the submission, I realized the one I wanted to submit for sure was damaged. There's something wrong with the edge right there. 
and I didn't realize it until I went to put it in the little flip to send to PCGS. So this one I thought might have had a chance. Um, it's got some interesting toning and whatnot and seemed like a better candidate than this one. So let us see. <laughs> so at the last minute when I was boxing things up, I had to throw this one in because I had already entered it online <laughs> and paid for it. So Oh my gosh, it's straight graded. That's hilarious. Woohoo! That's actually pretty cool. VF35. It's not, you know, super valuable, but the half dollar, I'll take it. Wow. So that's impressive. I uh, had no idea. So the last moment I made a probably a wise choice because I think that would have come back no bueno. All right, so things are looking up. Next up, three cent silver. And this one also, I think, has a problem. I think it's corroded. So um, this date is kind of difficult. I do have one that is PCGS straight graded, or actually it is got a decent grade. But you can see kind of below the giant C there, there's some black deposits. So I don't know if it's been previously cleaned, corroded, what not. So I'm not expecting a heck of a lot. So 1855. And would be super cool if it does grade out. It's kind of a limited, limited mintage coin. What did we get? Oh my gosh, I'll take it. VG10. Woohoo! I'll show you the value or the PCGS value and the Chiron there. Hopefully I didn't just scratch it. Oh my goodness. So we're two for three, and I didn't think any of them would grade, or at least any of these three. And the one I, I have the most hope for is still to come. I do like uh, commemorative coins, silver commemorative coins. I did ask them to grade, uh, to mount this one upside down. This one, I don't know if it's been cleaned. It had some kind of interesting color, tonage, whatever. And actually the other side is even better. But this is the Monroe Doctrine from 1923. This is a silver half dollar commemorative. And I bought this at the LCS in kind of a two by two there. Questionable, but I didn't have this one in my collection and I am trying to put together a bunch of commemoratives. So see what we got here. So it did look interesting to me with this color and I don't know if that's, you know, artificial or what, but this is the one I had the highest hope for. And now after seeing those other ones, I hope I'm not going to be let down. But here we go. Ah, oh, yes. AU55. Love it. Woohoo. So super happy that three out of four straight graded. And it's not the end of the world on that arrows and rays. It's not like it's a piece of junk coin. So, woohoo! Very happy. So, don't want to drag it out any longer. Thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.